off, so I'm back today. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, let me get this back. Hello, test the audio bar. I'm sorry, y'all. I just this ain't really trying to do what I wanted to do. I so I'm back today to discuss the whole Jocelyn situ um Cardi B situation. Now I'm gonna um talk about you know Wendy Williams and Charlemagne as well and the donkey of the day situation. But I actually want to shine light on something, but we'll get into the video further or later on that. So now I it's unfortunate one I wanna say it's unfortunate that this happened because you know people was already trying to pit them against each other when it happened, like in the in the beginning. Since Cardi B joined Love and Hip Hop, they they went from trying to call her the new Jocelyn to say she's trying to take her spot. And, you know, people always do this stuff more when it comes to women than men, so it annoys me. It's like, why can't everybody just be their own self, be their own person? You know, they have a new Spanish girl on Love and Hip Hop New York. I don't see her as the quote-unquote new Cardi B, and I mentioned that in one of the other videos. I was glad she wasn't trying to be, you know, extra... And come off as a new Cardi, you know, I was glad about that. She's just her Hispanic ass self. You know, what's the girl's name? Anais. Anais from Love and Hip Hop. This current season now, season eight, I think. So, or season seven, maybe. Um, But, um, nonetheless, moving on to this situation. So, Jocelyn dropped the disc record. It's called Hate Me Now. And um, I guess this was some type of, in her head, this was some Nas. Um, I forgot who the other person, was it Nas? I forgot. But this was some Nas. She, I, 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 don't, I don't understand what was going on in her head when she dropped this. Like, do she have, like, is the engineer your friend? Do you have friends in the studio when you record? Do you have listening parties? Like, I, I, there was so many steps where she could have not dropped this. And it's like she missed all of those, and she just she 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 put it out. Um. Um. Yeah, but nonetheless, here I'm gonna play you guys the disc, and we'll come back. Ex queen, get your crown back. What crown? How you so easy to get that up, ma? They made a mockery out you. You used to be a boy. Your body, ass, lipo, reconstruction of your whole body. Used to be a boy. Who really are you, my friend? Safari metro section, sexy ass, can't be on top, ho. So easily brainwashed. You never been who you say you are. In fact, that dusty bitch come around, lead on nothing but suit, lying on blood bitches. Blood bitch, please. The only thing bloody by this hoes is that herpes sick, bloody flexing bummy mouth. Me real niggas on so my line, street niggas, cancer penitentiary, like doing real time niggas. I'm the real mommy, I put in words, but the whole lot of dick to get here, ho. More rouge in this bitch, just on your nigga mouth, so he can not be ho. You'll be surprised what a little golden shower made the kiddos call him Bay Sales Rapids, too. And be on God, I'm a sloppy, silly, slapping, nasty mouth, that motherfucking assistant. Assist me, ho. Tell the record label they could never stop this. I'm not sending this bitch, you can hate me.
so yeah we're, we're back um i hope y'all ears wasn't too i i hope y'all brains didn't melt and you know what I, okay so let's go down to the comments i'm gonna read them instead of posting them because that screenshot app be trying to put me through hell but let's go down to a, a couple comments i wonder how long it's gonna be before we get a positive one but let's let's go let's see okay Justice J, what was she saying? Dot dot dot. Not even being funny. Emoji box. Emoji box. I'm on a laptop, so I can't see the emoji box. Um, I feel like she did this in Spanish first, then translated it, and it just didn't work out. God damn. Cheeky nine. Sire, stay. Uh, damn, I just don't follow her on all my social media. God damn. Jay Santiago, I feel like choking the producer with the USB cord. I'm weak as hell. Elena Olvera, don't you dare clap back, Cardi. This ain't worth more than a laugh. Antonio Gardner, I can't believe I just wasted two minutes and 56 seconds of my life listening to this garbage. I want to make it clear that he said this, D-I-S, um, this garbage, yes. <laughs> Now, hold on. Oh, Shay Carroll says, now, hold on, dot, dot, dot. She really ain't just say, quote, I put in work, sucked a whole lot of dick to get here, ho, end quote, dot, dot, dot. Jocelyn, baby, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> where you sucked all them dicks to get where? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Chicken Little. We got a brand name in this bitch. Chicken Little simply said, what the fuck? Laughing emoji, laughing emoji. Shauna Winfrey said, girl, sit down. Shalitha McDaniel said, I can't even understand this cunt. This is supposed to be a Cardi B diss, what the fuck? Jealous or not, LOL. Sam Goods says, yo, why hasn't she rhymed yet? Shake my head. I think she meant to keep this track on her phone. And so, oh, Okay, somebody, okay, here's a positive one. Somebody said, Mitch Farmer said, this is actually a good track. Production strong, lyrics hard. Okay, so let's read the reactions. I mean, um, the replies, because they're probably going to be funnier than any of the responses I just read. Um, Mitch Farmer, or uh, Martina Martinez, Martinez, says, Mitch Farmer, stop lying. Somebody said, LMAO, good one, LLF. Mitch, this actually is kind of fire, but Cardi B is too popular right now. This following ass niggas will never admit it. You must have played this comment under the wrong video. I'm weak. She's freestyling, which is a difficult skill. Plus, she got flow. She raps the beat well. Um, We must not be listening to the same song. You must have an Android. Look, I'm going to need you not to do that, because I sure was going to switch to a Google phone. I'm going to need you not to do that. Uh, <clears throat> but nonetheless, all right, so those were a couple comments I wanted to read to y'all. Now, my take on it, y'all don't even got to ask. You already know. I, 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 I feel mindfucked. I, I'm wondering if this is like punk, and she's going to come out to everybody on everybody's house and just going to come out with whoever's going to punk. I forgot his name. Excuse me, because I ain't told a joke in a damn while, but I'm feeling like I'm being punked. I'm waiting out. Somebody, like, I just, I don't understand this. Like, there are so many steps when you do a song, you know, you record it. You write it, first of all. You would now, or you freestyle it. Some people freestyle it. Maybe she freestyled it. Um, somebody brought that up, but, I mean, the lyrics are not, they're not good. Like, that's just not a good song. But nonetheless... You know, you write it or freestyle it, record it. You listen to it over and over again before you sent, have it sent off to be mastered. Or if your engineer does the mastering, you have to hear it over and over before you drop it. So I don't understand why she put this out. I don't understand. I do not understand for the life of me. So y'all know, of course, Charlemagne ripped her a new one and gave her donkey the other day. And this was actually depressing to me because... It was very sad because I watched Jocelyn on the last interview that she did on The Breakfast Club, and it was actually, like, it was actually some substance within the interview, you know, seeing the real Jocelyn, not the, you know, reality TV, you know, little too rah-rah, you know, not that Jocelyn. You seen a real person on the interview, and she was asked about Cardi. I'm assuming this is when the Stevie, Stevie J video came about, 
And she said, what do I got to be jealous of her for? You know, like, I'm going to, you know, make my strides and continue. Da, da. And I thought she was obviously, and I thought she was honestly and genuinely on that road. You know, I can't see Cardi B as being a behind the scenes trash talker or whatever. Like, if she has something to say, I feel like she will have something to say to her face. And just being honest, like, based off the of status, you know, Cardi B is up there, you know, is getting up there musically. So I can't see her, like, doing some behind the scenes shit talking about Jocelyn behind the scenes or something. So I don't understand where this diss came from. And I'm not even going to lie. Like, there was one good line. And that the one good line, which she failed after that, bombed after and before that. I can't remember if it came first or not. But when she said, drag a Bronx bitch, that was the good way to start a diss. But after that, it, it went downhill, you know. Um, and, um, like, she... Jocelyn does like she has good records. She has La Negra. I actually paid for that. It's on my phone. Now, uh, granted, that was like 2014, but she has that song, and on that song, like you can see on the pity people uh, on the video, people are giving her props. People are saying under the video that it gives them Selena vibes, vibes of Selena. So you know, and it, it to me it does too, you know. But look at that song, La Negra. It's called L A, or it's spelled L A space N E G R A. <clears throat> it's a good song of hers. I don't understand, you know. It's like, and people say, oh, well, now that she's left Stevie J, she's gonna have. I don't know if that's the situation. I just think it. She needs to find one producer. Maybe that's it. But I do. Um. Um. You know, Joss, uh, Charlemagne, and Wendy spoke about the situation, and you know, they both were like, you know, she just needs. She needs a it's jealousy, basically. You know, she's jealous and this, that, and the other. Now, um, without getting too much into that, I want to point out the fact that Jocelyn can actually rap. Now, before y'all bomb me in the comments, I'm going to show y'all this video. And it was very confusing to me because it's like she has all these flops. But this is a very good song. She should have put time into this and made it a full song. Because even when she had the good songs, like, for instance, I, I like the song Church, you know, the song, um, the song Church, um, the songs that she did on the stage in season, was it four reunion when her and Mimi um, hugged and made up for that short period of time. But nonetheless, on that um, reunion, um, the song, I think it's called Baddest Bitch, where um, she was like, bitch, I'm on top, don't push me, ho. I'll shoot for your bra, get your pussy, ho. I'm going for the kill, I get greasy, bitch. You work a hard win, but it's the easy way, and I've been getting money. Mucha de Nero, you know, no comparable, numero zero. Controversy is hot, you bitches is weirdos. Oh, I was like, okay, you know, okay, there's some actual, she's doing some shit here. And then, um, um, but that song never dropped, you know, like, I waited, like, it was uh, eight months, I looked it up, it still ain't dropped, you know, she has to send you with my cootie cat. So there's some good songs, and then there's some bad songs, you know, like, the song Shots that she has, I don't care for. Um, but I'm gonna play all this song here. It's a remix or a revamp of Diddy's No Time. So, and before my old hip, old school hip hop heads getting their feelings, she actually did decent on it. Now, keep in mind, we're speaking about her rap skills. I don't, I don't necessarily, at this point, I don't care who writes her shit. Hell, I will be a ghostwriter for her at this point. <laughs> I don't care who writes her stuff. I just want her to get the rapping on point, you know. Um, but y'all watch this video here and then I'll come back. I hold them on the game on the bitch. Fuck a nigga, get a couple meal like the D. I'm the Ross in the game, and no shame when I spit. Yeah, I want the money and the fame of this bitch. Cross me and I bend you over. Another white tee with a fallen soldier. My phone ring another call from Mona. She said, You want to her being over. Nah, so don't look at me sideways. The bosses, they talking, but I ain't fake. Shit, that's how it is nowadays. Flying to the next level, try pace. When the streets they speak, they talk high. In the bin, when it rings, I'm on every wire. When these fake chicks talk, like I'm mortified. 187, bitch, on my side. 187, bitch, on my side. No time for broke niggas. We eat in the six hour steak dinners. West Coast spread love, niggas. When you niggas talk shit, we come bang figures. I got no time for growth. Hey, y'all, I'm back. So let me know in the comments if y'all think I'm tripping or not. Because that video was, it was solid to me. I could understand everything she was saying in that song. 
Uh, why they did it as a snippet, I don't know. I do wish that she would focus more on her lyrics and, you know, not be so naked all the time. Because even if that's who you are naturally, it's hard for people to take you seriously, you know, in this game. You know, I remember Nikki a couple, like a month ago, she was talking about how females have to work twice as hard um, to get half as respect as their male counterparts in any job. And yes, that's true, but it confuses. So, and so, yeah, like I can ride out with what she's saying. So I'm confused. And so is a lot of people, other people are confused and they call her out on this because then now you have it um, near, uh, like a month later and you're talking about, or, or and, uh, and now it's a month later and you're on the paper spread magazine eating your own pussy out and tickling your coochie with a rose. Like, I mean, I just... And oh, and I never did do a video on that because the the hypocrisy that people are not even the hypocrisy. It was just it was annoying to see like Eve sat up there and gave a completely focused opinion. I don't think anything was wrong with what she said. She's speaking from a matured um, a mature Eve. She's not speaking from the same Eve that was stripping and this that, and the other and um doing all that stuff. And then, you know, for Barb's to bring up her sex tape, as if they're that hip hop challenge. Like you just looked up the first thing you could look up to combat her. Cause you felt like she was coming for your queen or whatever. But nonetheless, as if that was, um, you know, they brought up the sex tape. She didn't want that release. Stevie J released that. So she literally couldn't help that. You know, I mean, there is a lesson in there, you know, don't, don't take sex tapes with people, uh, unless you got some upper leverage in the situation, but nonetheless, you know, um, um, I feel like you need to have growth in, um, in your career, and that's one thing I see lacking in the both of them, you know, to me, honestly, the paper magazine spread, it was, it was, it looked weird, it looked like some sex kitten shit or something, it looked like weird white people sex shit, like, it just wasn't sexy to me at all, it did not, it did not look nice to me, um, she looked nice, the makeup was fine, but the, it was weird to me, um, yeah, it was weird to me. She could have did just as good coming up there, you know, if she wanted to do a suit and tie, some type of suit and tie stuff or whatever, or keep it toned down or just, I don't know. That just wasn't for me. But um, back to Jocelyn, um, like I was saying with Nikki, you know, I feel like there needs to be some type of growth in your career, and Jocelyn seems to always be naked. So in that video, it takes away. But in that video, I think it's fair to say, she did very good with her, um, she did very good just rapping, rap-wise, you know, so that's why I'm confused by this record now, you know, I thought we was headed to a place of improvement, but nonetheless, um, here's Cardi B's, now, and this is what people are saying as a response, but if I'm not mistaken in this song, I think it's called Stylin', I've heard her preview this song before, just a different verse, and I feel like Cardi B and me operate similarly, so when she get in her bag, like, she might post up, throw up a song, or post up some lyrics from a song that she has going, and you might think it's a diss, or the pub to the public, it's a diss, but we probably just already wrote it, and that's how we feeling in that moment, because I've heard this song before. I've heard it through Tribute before, Um, so, and she just said she didn't finish it. Now, she may have went in the studio and finished that verse after seeing Jocelyn's little crappy diss, but... Nonetheless, I, this song, I've heard it before, like, months ago. So, um, nonetheless, here's her quote-unquote response or whatever.
y'all just saw her quote unquote diss track or uh, clap back or whatever. Uh, like I said, I've heard the song before, so she probably got in her bag and just posted it. You know, when I finish this Wake Me Up remix, I'm going to definitely post those lyrics every day some nigga piss me off or do some foul shit. You know, that doesn't mean I'm necessarily dissing. It just means I already wrote the song. It's just how I'm feeling towards you in that minute. But nonetheless, um, y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Y'all think the job, does anybody think the song was good? Does anybody truthfully, honestly, can you answer yourself that and look yourself in the mirror and say that song was good and not fall down laughing with your pancreas cramped, you know? But you know, let me know down below. Maybe some people think it's good. Maybe. Uh, pigs gonna fly before that. <laughs> At any rate, y'all let me know what y'all thought down below. And let me know if y'all want me to cover any other topics and videos. I know it's been a slow um, commentary couple days for me. I've been, you know, I'm still trying to heal up. Like, I feel my voice is still gone. The snot in it, the snot, in, the snot enough is done, but the coughing and the, um, yeah, the drainage in the throat's still there. Sorry to gross y'all out, but I mean, it is what it is. Humans get sick. Shit happens. But let me know if y'all want me to comment on anything else and go watch that Gwen Stefani video and all the other videos. I mean, uh, shit, quick Christina Aguilera video. That was my bad. But nonetheless, y'all go watch them videos and let me know if you want me to cover anything else and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.